Hey guys, welcome back to your learning journey. Now in this section, we'll be getting started with one of the key topic for our generative AI certification, that is the machine learning fundamentals. Now, when we talk about this generative AI, these generative AI offers the exciting possibilities, but challenges in order to translate the huge potential into the practice, you need the robust machine learning toolkit. That means you need to have the strong basics of machine learning to be able to work with generative AI in a confident manner. Now, even the certification tests you regarding some of the fundamental aspects of machine learning. And this section is there for you to prepare you to tackle such common challenges whenever you're appearing in the examination. So as you progress in this section, you'll be learning how to classify the data, how to optimize the machine learning model performance using the various techniques, how you can predict the outcome through the various tasks such as regression, classification. You'll also learn to understand how to analyze the time series data and many such exciting things as you progress in your learning journey. Now, as I mentioned, guys, these skills that you'll be learning in this section are fundamental when you're working in generative AI, even in real world applications as well. One of the key reasons that we have prepared this module in this way because, so if I take up an example as let's say regression analysis. Now by understanding this regression analysis, like the linear regression, it's actually important for you to calibrate your generative models to produce the output that closely resemble the training data. And the knowledge of classification algorithms like the logistic regression, decision tree classifier, SVM and so on, they are actually crucial like sentiment analysis or the content categorization task when you are working with generative AI. And the knowledge of decision tree and ensembles, these techniques will help you to identify the patterns within the large data set, which are used to train the large language models. And basically, they can also be used to improve the interpretability and the robustness of the generative models. And as I mentioned earlier, you'll also be learning about the hyperparameter tuning and finding the best parameters of the model. So these are some of the essential techniques for evaluation of the large language models. And we'll also dive into the unsupervised learning like the clustering algorithm. If I take this example of clustering, so they are actually used to group the similar data, which can be helpful whenever you are preparing the training data for generative models. Now, the question that you might get is, how do you get started as a learner or how do you approach this section? Now, I would recommend you take the practice quiz because if you are appearing for the generative AI examination, so I'm sure some of you will be having some knowledge of machine learning or deep learning. So since this focus is about the machine learning fundamentals, take this quiz on the machine learning. Okay. Now these quiz that currently present is to take you through as what kind of questions that you might get and also focus on the key topics that you have to focus on. Now, wherever you have come across the areas of impo improvement, review those topics as per your analysis and go through those specific part of the videos. Now in this section, in your learning journey, so the overall course has been designed such a way that I'll be taking you through in a hands-on manner. So let's take a look into the overall contents of this machine learning fundamentals. If you take a look into it, we'll be covering various topics, which starts with types of machine learning, linear regression and its evaluation metrics, the regularization techniques, logistic regression, gradient descent, decision tree, loss functions, hyperparameter optimization techniques, the KNN, SVM, ensemble learning, unsupervised learning, like the K-means, hierarchical clustering, DB scan. So we have divided the overall topics of machine learning into the important topics videos of the machine learning. So depending on the outcome from your practice quiz, I want you to focus on those specific videos. Now, wherever possible, we have tried to gone through in a hands-on manner so that you as a learner not only understand the theory, but also look into it from the practical implementation as well. Which means we will have a hands-on coding with Python programming language. Now, remember guys, 
the knowledge of programming or knowledge of you to perform the coding is not tested in the examination. But we have taken that approach because that's one of the common approach where we have seen most of the learners would be able to follow along. And that's the reason we have taken the hands on approach to discuss each of the important algorithms that we have got so that you get an idea as how the overall flow would look like. So first complete the practice questions, go through those specific videos and all the hands on files that are required for you to practice in this section is part of our GitHub repository under the folder of machine learning fundamentals. All right, guys. So I wish you all the very best for this upcoming practice quiz as well as the upcoming learning journey. So I look forward to seeing you next time.